a great time to strengthen your relationships emotionally and physically. In this tarot ritual, you will learn how to create the right vibes to strengthen your sexual desire or the sexual desire of another. Ask your higher power to assist you and make a protective circle using red or pink salt or you can even use flowers, lace, whatever you find most attractive. Choose red and black in your sacred space. Both colors are associated with Scorpio and red is the color of passion and sexuality. Anoint two red candles with oil, starting at the base and working up. It's best to use sweet and earthy scents for this ritual. Vanilla is an aphrodisiac, so it's perfect for this spell. You can sprinkle a small amount of glitter on your candles to symbolize a spark that's been born, an attraction between you and another getting stronger and stronger. We are going to make a suggestive and romantic altar. Decorate with items associated with love. State your intention to bring more excitement into your life with your partner or the person you are interested in. Light your candles and imagine that your partner's passion gleams at the thought of you and grows as the flame grows. Ask for guidance to make changes if needed, like wearing different clothes or creating an atmosphere that will promote connection and desire. Choose an item you associate with Scorpio to tap into its energy. I use the jar of dried roses cut in a previous new moon in Scorpio. Patchouli is used in love, lust and fertility magic and that's why it's a great incense for this ritual. It helps and boosts anything you want to grow. Lemon verbena is known to attract a lover. It will be extra potent if you carry it with you. You can make a small pendant if you want, like this mini bottle, and put some vervain in it. You can wear it on your neck until the time of the full moon later this month. Include an apple in your altar, because apple is the fruit of Venus and you do need Venus's energy for this ritual. And don't forget that apple is the fruit of temptation. You can eat the apple after your ritual if you want, or you can plant it in fertile soil and visualize that lust and love are growing stronger and stronger. I used two heart-shaped stones and you can use any heart-shaped object you have or if you want to include crystals to your altar, make sure it's either rose quartz that transmutes lust into a loving exchange of passionate sexual energy or red jasper that aligns the base chakra which is the chakra associated with sex. You can include objects that will make your altar as beautiful and sensual as possible. Here I use the red scarf that I got from Egypt and it reminds me of sweet, warm and sensual eastern nights. Use props that get you in the right mood. Now get your tarot deck and take out the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is the energy that attracts two people and brings them together in a harmonious, romantic way. 
Visualize that you are now attracting the partner you desire, even if it's not a specific person. Now lay down the lovers, which is the higher manifestation of the Two of Cups. That's an energy of tremendous sexual attraction and chemistry. As you contemplate this card, imagine your magnetic aura drawing the person you want to you. If you want, you can also use significator cards that represent you and the person you are interested in. And finally, lay down the tower. The tower is a feared card in town, but it's a very sexual card too. Look at its shape and how it shows a dynamic and intense surge of sexual energy. Imagine yourself in some of your favorite sensual fantasies. Now this is a time to say your affirmation. I am desirable, sensual and seductive. I am desirable, sensual and seductive. And when you are ready, open your circle and thank the higher forces for their protection and assistance. Eat something or drink some water to ground yourself. And so it is.